I'm not sure if there is a difference because there are enemies on either side so it probably is just a matter of preference which way you want to go first. Maybe one way is easier while the other way is harder but more rewarding? I don't know. It doesn't look like there's much of a difference. Hey, what? Who are you? Get out of here. What the fuck he dropped a rifle? What the hell? I could have sworn he dropped a rifle, not a fucking pistol. Or whatever. Yeah, look, he's holding a, a rifle. If he drops a pistol. No, he dropped granat. <laughs> Bleh. Bleh. It looks like my my English is deteriorating thanks to Germany. <clears throat> he dropped grenades. I nearly said granates. <laughs> Why? Why the fuck did, would I want to say that? That's that's not how English works. Bastards. Well, okay then. I guess what they drop doesn't necessarily mean that's what I'm gonna get. I just walked backwards. Fuck. Well, there is a ladder here. Let's climb up. Someone- Oh, here you are. I was wondering who was shouting at me in German. Guess it was no one special, just this bastard over here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's- that's where I was. Oh, this is the tightrope shit? Ah, alright. Well, good thing it's not a tightrope walking kind of a thing, cause I don't know if he could pull it off. But walking on pipes? Eh, sure. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way you're facing the ladder. If you're holding forward at the ladder, you're, you're still gonna climb it. You can actually climb ladders backwards like this. I wonder how it would look like. <laughs> if you saw someone climbing the ladders with his back turned to the ladder. How would it look like? How would they do that? Would they just magnetize to the ladder or something? I, I don't know. Oh shit! No, right? This is just another fucking dead end. Shit. Why do people navigate these shitty docks? Hmm. I think they left some extra trucks for you just in case you missed the first one. Hey, it's alright. I like that idea. Having extra things to blow up in case you missed one that you actually need to blow up. That's perfectly fine by me. Hey, there's another set of ladders here, let's remember that. Might have to use them. In fact, I think... Yeah, this is where I just was. Okay, so we have to go back. Fuck. Ugh. Don't you just hate it when something randomly gets stuck in your eye for no fucking reason? Like you're just sitting... St you're just sitting at your computer doing shit. And then suddenly something stabs you right in the eyeball. Like, what the hell? You stop that. <laughs> I'm Patterson, not a fucking training dummy. Don't shoot at me, bruh. And who leaves eight kids on the rooftop? That's kind of odd. <laughs> This is why Germans lost the war. They they let this happen. Shit. This is gonna be an interesting jump to do. Mostly because it's kinda a narrow thing. Oh, enter the production facility? Oh, here it is. Hmm, well that wasn't too long either. Huh. Oh no. I guess for a game like this, a shorter level is actually better. 
But uh, for something that you would find on the PC, like the same game on the PC would have to be longer. Because otherwise it would just be too easy, too short. Just like this game I played yesterday called Kite. It's pretty new, it's still in early access. It's pretty good, I really liked it. Too bad it only has 8 levels, and once you get the better guns, they, they just go through too quickly, like only a couple of minutes each. We really gotta get more levels. The production facility is full of things that can explode, so be careful where you shoot, and be mindful of where you're taking cover while under enemy attack. Oh, well that's good to know. You have four main objectives. The objectives are as follows. Find U4901's engine specs, procure the hull blueprints, destroy the facility's sea door controls so you can't launch a pursuing sub, and finally locate and board the U4901. U4901 is truly a monster. They had to build a special dry dock at the edge of the facility just to construct it. A source we have within the production office says that they're only, they're only a couple of hours away from launching the sub on its first sea trial. You must be on board as it heads out into open water, otherwise this mission will have been for nothing. You'll come across different U-boats in various stages of construction. Keep going until you hit the last sub. That's U4901. It's by far the biggest boat in the yard. You'll know it when you see it. I also have it on good authority from our source that despite the grime and filth of the production floor, the foreman who builds the sub engines insists on using one of those expensive fancy roll top desks. What? <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? Maybe that's a clue. Watch out for expensive desk. It's a sign that you're at the boat. The U-boat. That sounds like a backwards version of any Apple product. Instead of I-boat, it would be U-boat. <laughs> what kind of a product that would be even? Probably a shitty smart boat. It'll take you to where you want it, as long as it doesn't break every two seconds. <laughs> and has all the necessary apps like iTunes. Fuck. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it too loud. Maybe you'll get the damn idea to actually do it. That would be a terrible idea. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> hey! No! God damn it! Turn that shit off! Fucking assholes. Always turning on the alarms. Like, who the hell asked you? Oh, I know what this does. I've seen this before. But out of curiosity. I know you want to see it. Uh-oh. It didn't explode? What the hell? Man, that's disappointing. I was hoping these torpedoes would actually blow up. You know, just like the the nuclear missiles inside that arctic facility in Fighting Force 2. That shit would explode. It would explode pretty hard too. Would take out the entire fucking facility. But this? Nope. Not even a thing. What the fuck? Stop turning on the alarm. Oh no, you go away from that alarm, you son of a bitch. That's the thing you can do with these alarms, actually. You can just blow them up. That way, nobody's gonna call up the uh, reinforcements in the area. Unfortunately, they take a few bullets, which you could just use on killing things instead. But if you have bullets to spare... It works.
A question, what the hell is a U-boat? Is that like a different word for a submarine? Or is it just some sort of a specialized boat? Like, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to mean. By the looks of this thing, it looks like it might be a, some sort of an early version of a submarine. Wouldn't they just call it a submarine then? You know, because it goes underwater, subsurface, and all that shit. I don't know. Yeah, turn that shit off. Good thing all of these alarms are local. They never seem to really go anywhere further than one room. Really shitty design from the Germans. You know, you'd think German engineering would actually be working well in, in German favor here, but for some reason, it does jack and shit to hell. Who the hell sets up their alarm system to have multiple alarms in each and every room and only work in that room? Yeah, I know it's a game limitation, but still, come on, guys. Hey, what's this? Oh. <laughs> Let's see this happen. Bam! What's a better way of... Uh, What's the best way of making sure that they cannot use the C door controls? Just blow up the entire panel with C4. Isn't that a little excessive? Who the hell does that? <laughs> I mean, I would do it because that's just the way I am. I like explosions and everything, but in a real life situation, who would use C4 to just blow up the control panel for the C door? Is this the U boat? Seems awfully guarded. I do like this pistol though. It's pretty cool. <laughs> For all of you Battlefield 1 shitters, try out Medal of Honor on PlayStation 1. It has all of your bolt action, single action bullshit that you always wanted. Seriously, that whole fucking arguing thing about lack of certain guns in BF1. Yeah, I guess if you're a history nut, it kind of pisses you off, but... It's Battlefield. What the hell were you expecting? <laughs> it's like saying, I was expecting historical accuracy from Mass Effect. What the hell are you doing, man? There's certain expectations. Even if the people say that they're gonna do this or that, there's certain expectations coming from certain series. So obviously when you see Battlefield uh, devs going like, oh, they're gonna have historic uh, accuracy. You know they're not really gonna do that. I mean, the last time I seen a Battlefield game, I saw tanks getting shot up in the air to shoot down a jet plane with C4 really realistic and accurate, isn't it? When you see that, you can't possibly take uh, Battlefield seriously. Which is a good thing. I don't think it should be taken too seriously. There's already way too many fucking shooters which are all serious business. What's some fun shit? There's another submarine. Is this the one I need? Wait, wouldn't these be the U-boats? Maybe? Hmm. Well, this one even has water in it, I guess. Maybe? I, I don't know. I want to see that the U-boats are the early submarine prototypes or whatever. But hell if I know. I'm not a history nut. History is nice and all, but I never really cared for it. It's nice to have it, but... Well, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of boring to learn it actually. It doesn't help that most of the time when someone's trying to teach you history, he's not very good at teaching you that history. Okay, I'm on the boat. 
this is the U4901 isn't it yeah 4901 this is it this is this is a submarine huh interesting a submarine level in the PlayStation 1 game all they're missing now is a train level or a train boss how many games do you know that has trains in it I don't know that many I got a reply from the developers of kite apparently did you get through all eight at least five more are planned oh yeah boy I got through all of them I s ranked them all it only took like an hour or two I think it all about an hour it really wasn't that long but we'll talk more about Kite once you get to it, because I'm planning to record it in some sometime in the future. Pretty soon actually, because it is a pretty fun game. You made it on just in time. You'll be starting at the stern, right above the engine room. Alright. Go down a level and make your way forward towards the bridge. Our contact said that the boat launched just minutes after you sneaked aboard. They thought that the whole facility was under attack by the allies. You must have caused quite a commotion on the production floor. Of course. Would it be Patterson if he didn't do just that? Your goal now is to scuttle the ship. Scuttle the ship? What the fuck scuttle means in this case? The only scuttle I know is from loadout but but we don't talk about that game anymore since you don't want this to be a suicide mission the OSS has devised a somewhat daring plan that will destroy U4901 but keep you alive okay how the hell do I do that step 1 radio your coordinates to the HMS Belfast which is awaiting your signal you'll only have a few minutes after you transmit for them to get a fix on you Step 2. Now with the clock ticking, find the, fa the fin controls and set the boat to dive. Then destroy the controls with a demolition charge, locking the sub into a downward trajectory. In step 3, the critical part, blow the emergency blast, which will temporarily surface the boat. Scramble up and out through the coning tower before the ballast tanks fill with seawater, plunging U4901 to the ocean floor. Shit. What the hell do they do all day? <laughs> then if they come up with these kind of plans, do we watch Bond movies or something? This is ridiculous. But I want to see it happen.